Today, we sadly begin by expressing our condolences regarding the recent events in Israel. We sincerely hope for peace throughout the world. As always, we will be paying tribute to both notable celebrities and other distinguished individuals who have passed away today and over the last few days. Additionally, in our news section, we will share information about recent notable deaths from the Israel-Gaza conflict. As always, we will include special tributes, along with updates on the health of various celebrities. To support us, we kindly ask that you give this video a thumbs up. Number 7. David Dollar, a beacon in U.S.-China, Economic Relations David Dollar, renowned China scholar, commentator, and former Treasury Department envoy to Beijing during the Obama administration, has left an indelible mark on U.S.-China economic discourse. While the specifics of his age and cause of death have been kept private by the Brookings Institution, the impact of his professional journey speaks volumes. From 2004 to 2009, Dollar served with distinction as the World Bank's country director for both China and Mongolia. This was but a chapter in his over 20-year illustrious tenure with the Development Bank, wherein he delved deep into the intricacies of Chinese economic reform and the broader dimensions of globalization. Before these achievements, he enriched the academic world as an assistant professor at the University of California, Los Angeles. In 2013, he joined the prestigious Brookings Institution in Washington as a senior fellow. There, he not only continued his profound research, but also broadened the dialogue on international trade through his insightful podcast, focused on the global trading system and its myriad impacts. Brookings Interim President Amy Liu aptly encapsulated Dollar's stature by recognizing him as a leading expert and well-regarded scholar of the Chinese economy and U.S.-China economic relations. Liu's statement, which labeled Dollar as simply exceptional, resonates with the sentiments of countless peers and followers. David Dollar's legacy is multifaceted, a scholar, a diplomat, a teacher, and a commentator. His contributions have forged a deeper understanding of the economic ties and tensions between two global superpowers. Tributes to David Dollar. Number 6. Agneta Monica Anderson, Paddling to Olympic Glory and Beyond Agneta Monica Anderson, the epitome of resilience and commitment in the world of sprint canoeing, sadly passed away on the 8th of October 2023 at the age of 62. Hailing from Sweden, her legacy in the sport is truly unparalleled, with an illustrious career spanning nearly two decades. Anderson's prowess was most evident on the Olympic stage, in her five appearances at the Summer Games, she amassed a remarkable seven medals, a testament to her tenacity and skill. Three of these were gold earned in the K1500M in 1984 and the K2500M in both 1984 and 1996. Her achievements weren't confined to the Olympics alone. At the ICF Canoe Sprint World Championships, she clinched 11 medals, including a gold in the K2500M in 1993. Furthermore, her collaboration with fellow canoeist Suzanne Gunnarsson was recognized in 1996, when the duo jointly received the Svenska Dagbladet gold medal. Beyond her medals and accolades, Anderson embodied the spirit of sportsmanship, inspiring countless aspiring athletes with her dedication and relentless drive. Sweden, and indeed the world of sprint canoeing, has lost one of its brightest stars. Tributes to Agneta Monica Anderson. Number 5. Claude Cormier, the playful visionary of modern landscape design. Claude Cormier, renowned Canadian landscape architect recognized for his inventive and joyous designs, passed away on September 15, 2023. 
a mastermind behind numerous vibrant public spaces in Montreal and Toronto, he was 63. His death was attributed to complications of Lee Fraumeni syndrome, as announced by his firm CCXA. Born on June 22, 1960 in Princeville, Quebec, Claude's colorful designs often met initial skepticism, only to later be celebrated by the masses. His penchant for challenging the status quo was evident in projects like the Lipstick Forest in Montreal's Convention Center and the Pink Umbrella adorned Sugar Beach in Toronto. Cormier's designs were not just about aesthetics, they held deeper societal messages. His Pink Balls installation in Montreal's St. Catherine Street East, a prominent LGBTQ district, served as both an art piece and a symbol of activism. Mark Halla, his colleague, termed Cormier a pleasure activist, emphasizing that his works were fashioned to bring delight and to change hearts by making you feel good. Throughout his illustrious career, Cormier bagged several honors, including being knighted by the Ordre National du Québec in 2009. A monograph titled Serious Fun, encapsulating his genius, was published in 2021. Beyond the awards and accolades, Claude Cormier's legacy is his undying spirit to innovate, challenge, and spread joy. As he once mused about transforming gardens, his own creations are a testament to how landscapes can represent contemporary values, culture, and technology. Tribute to Claude Cormier. Number 4. Alamo Jones, the unsung hero of country music. The world of country music mourns the passing of Alamo Jones, also known as the Voice in Black. While he might not have had his name topping the charts, Jones made a significant impact behind the scenes and in the hearts of country music fans. Born as Chance Martin, his initial foray into the world of country music began behind the camera as a cue card holder for The Johnny Cash Show. This modest position paved the way for a deep and enduring friendship with Johnny Cash. It was Cash who christened Jones with the nickname The Voice in Black, a title that aptly captured the depth and soul of Jones's personality and voice. As he toured with Cash, Jones wore many hats, including those of a lighting technician, stage manager, and lighting director. It was during these tours that Jones discovered another talent, songwriting. While mainstream Nashville might have initially overlooked his musical contributions, his album In Search became a beacon for country music aficionados, transforming into a bootleg cult classic. It is a testament to Jones's musical prowess that he found recognition and acclaim even without the conventional channels of the music industry. His association with Sirius XM introduced Jones to a new generation of listeners, Beginning as a sidekick on the Cowboy Jack Clement show, Jones soon took center stage, turning the show into his own, The Alamo Jones Show. His tales from the road, combined with interviews from the biggest names in country music, cemented his legacy as one of the genre's essential storytellers. Alamo Jones's story is a testament to the fact that one doesn't need chart-topping hits to be a legend. It's about passion, dedication, and the love for the craft. The country music community and its fans will dearly miss Jones's voice, stories, and contributions. His legacy will continue to resonate through the airwaves and in the hearts of those who knew and loved him. Rest in peace, the voice in black. Tribute to Alamo Jones. Number 3. Laszlo Solium, pillar of Hungarian law and dedicated public servant Laszlo Solium, the revered former Hungarian president, known for his unwavering dedication to public service and legal scholarship, passed away on October 8, 2023. At 81, he left behind a remarkable legacy that resonates both within Hungary's borders and beyond. His demise followed a prolonged illness which he bore with remarkable strength, dignity, and grace. 
born on January 3, 1942, in Pecs, a historic city in southern Hungary, Soliom's path was clear from an early age. His passion for law and governance was evident in his numerous contributions, leading him to the helm of the nation when the parliament elected him as the president of Hungary in 2005. He faithfully and effectively served in this esteemed role until 2010. Soliom's tenure was marked not only by his keen understanding of legal intricacies, but also by his profound love for Hungary and its people. Prime Minister Viktor Orban's tribute, Hungary's president, the great law professor has passed away, is a succinct yet potent acknowledgement of Soliom's profound influence on the nation's legal and political landscape. More than just titles and roles, Laszlo Soliom's legacy is characterized by his ethos. He stood as a beacon of integrity, knowledge, and dedication to the Hungarian populace. His commitment to the nation's well-being and progress was unwavering, making him an exemplary figure in the annals of Hungarian leadership. As we reflect on his life and contributions, the memories of President Laszlo Soliom serve as a timeless testament to the power of dedication, intellect, and genuine love for one's nation. Tributes to Laszlo Soliom Breaking News News 1 In memoriam, notable figures lost in the October 2023 Gaza-Israel conflict Lear Asulin, 43. Noted for his significant contributions to Israeli football, Lear Asulin showcased his skills with reputable teams such as Maccabi Herzliya, Beitar Jerusalem, and Hapoel Petah Tikva. Asulin's combination of athletic prowess, sportsmanship, and dedication made him a key figure in the sports landscape. He leaves behind a legacy that will be referenced for years to come in Israeli football history. Roy Levy, 44. Colonel Colonel Roy Levy, who led the multi-dimensional unit from 2023, was known for his strategic insights and commitment to Israel's defense initiatives. His tactical decisions and forward-thinking approach were instrumental in shaping the direction of the unit. The impact of his leadership is expected to influence the defense community for years. Ophir Libstein, 4950, heading the Sha'ar Hanegev Regional Council since 2018, Ophir Libstein was recognized for his dynamic leadership and commitment to community development. With a focus on enhancing the lives of his constituents, Libstein's tenure at the council highlighted his dedication to public service and community engagement. Jonathan Steinberg, 43 Colonel, serving as the commander of the Nahal Brigade since 2023, Colonel Jonathan Steinberg's leadership was marked by tactical proficiency and a strong commitment to unit safety. His tenure at the brigade underscored his ability to adapt and lead, making him a reference point in the military community. These individuals, each notable in their respective fields, have left a significant mark on the nation. Their contributions to Israel and their communities are testaments to their dedication and service. Our thoughts and prayers are with the families and loved ones of these esteemed individuals. They have left a void in their respective fields that will be felt for years to come. Their sacrifices and contributions to Israel will forever be engraved in the nation's history. These are the individuals confirmed by authorities. We pay our deepest respect to each of them who passed away in this tragic conflict. We will be continuously updating you in regards to new information and developments as they arise. Rest in peace. News 2. News 2. German tourist Shawnee Luke reported missing after festival. Incident in Israel. In a distressing turn of events, a German mother has appealed for assistance regarding her daughter's disappearance during a music festival near the Gaza border in Israel. Shani Luke, a German tourist, is believed to have been taken by Palestinian Hamas militants during the unexpected disruption of the festival by armed assailants. Ricarda, Shani's mother, expressed her concern through a social media plea revealing a video she received that seemingly showed her daughter unconscious in a vehicle. We were sent a video in which I could clearly see our daughter, she stated, imploring viewers for any news or assistance. 
The distressing video that circulated on social media platforms depicted a young woman who the family claims is Miss Luke, based on her identifiable dreadlocks and tattoos, being displayed on the back of a truck surrounded by armed individuals. Shawnee's cousin Tom Weintraub Luke voiced the family's hopes and concerns, emphasizing the group's responsibility for her safety. Reports indicate that up to 100 individuals, including Israeli soldiers and civilians, may have been taken during the Hamas operation. Furthermore, other attendees of the festival, like British citizen Jake Marlowe, have been reported missing. He had been serving as security staff for the event. The sudden assault by Hamas over the weekend has escalated tensions, resulting in numerous casualties on both sides. The Israeli government and international community are keenly monitoring the situation, hoping for a peaceful resolution and the safe return of all missing individuals. Now it's time to remember the legends who passed away in the past years. Number 2. Eileen Hurley, a theatrical luminary with a diverse artistic palette. Eileen Hurley, a distinguished actress whose career spanned both sides of the Atlantic, from Shakespearean theater to the television realm of All My Children, passed away on October 8, 2008 in Manhattan. Legacy stands rich and varied, a testament to her profound impact on the arts. The root cause of her departure was complications from pneumonia. Launching her career in the mid-1940s, Hurley's prodigious talent saw her working alongside theatrical giants, including Richard Burton, Laurence Olivier, and Tyrone Guthrie. Her portrayal of Myrtle Fargate on All My Children for 32 years showcased her ability to adapt and thrive in varied genres, earning her three Daytime Emmy nominations. Her stint on Broadway was equally illustrious. Notably, her performance as Lily in Take Me Along earned a Tony nomination and garnered praise from critics like Brooks Atkinson, who acknowledged her diverse abilities. Her performances weren't just confined to the stage. Hurley graced the silver screen in films such as Freud and The Seagull. Born Eileen Isabel Herlihy in Glasgow on March 18, 1918, her passion for theater faced familial skepticism. Yet her zeal remained undeterred. Her breakout role in Jean Cocteau's Eagle Has Two Heads garnered widespread acclaim, particularly for her captivating 27-minute soliloquy. Humorously, a recollection from a close friend Francesca James highlighted Hurley's spirit. Upon being advised by Olivier to approach Hamlet with Freud's Oedipal complex in mind, a perplexed Hurley had to hurriedly find out what the term meant. An emblem of resilience, adaptability, and unparalleled talent, Eileen Hurley's contributions to the performing arts world are undeniable. Tributes to Eileen Hurley. Number 1. Al Davis, a trailblazing legacy in American football. Al Davis, the audacious owner of the Oakland Raiders, passed away at the age of 82 on October 8, 2011, at his Oakland home, before household names like George Steinbrenner or Jerry Jones were recognized as impactful sports franchise owners. Davis was already making waves in the sports world. For almost 50 years, he shaped the trajectory of the NFL with his visionary leadership as a coach, general manager, and owner of the Raiders. Davis played a pivotal role in the historic merger of the fledgling American Football League with the established NFL. His drive led to the creation of the much-celebrated Super Bowl. Under his guidance, the Raiders made five Super Bowl appearances, clinching three titles. Known for his rebellious attitude, Davis often said, Just win, baby! A phrase that epitomized his approach to the game and business of football. Beyond his achievements, Davis will be remembered for his commitment to diversity. The Raiders, under his leadership, were the first franchise in the modern era to appoint a Latino, a black, and a female to significant leadership positions. His influence wasn't without controversy. He faced disagreements with league officials, fellow owners, and even some players. But whether loved or debated, Davis's mark on professional football is undeniable. His ambition, leadership, and fearless pursuit of what he believed in have left an indelible mark on the NFL and American sports. Tributes to Al Davis. <laughs>